Hi guys, welcome back to Factorio. Uh, so, I have cleared out the nest up here and a little bit more towards this way. There might be one or two more, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just deal with it when we get to that point. Uh, so this, um, this solution of bringing our power over like this is actually very temporary. Uh, we don't like doing this. Um, there's a lot of good reasons why this is a terrible idea. But you'll see all in due time. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a plan in motion uh, here. Uh, so we're gonna eventually hopefully get to that, but yeah, we'll see. So this is it. This is the iron ore patch that we've really wanted. Um, I'm gonna just uh, set these guys up over here. So, yeah, they obviously are not huge fans of this, but yeah, they're gonna have to deal with it. Alright, so... I'm gonna just, uh... We're gonna just make ourselves at home with the locals here. I don't think we have to deal with anything else up there. These are good enough. All right. So, uh, how to how to capture this? So we need to now make an outpost. Uh, outpost is pretty important here. Uh, I'll show you how we're gonna do this. So this is this is the big one. Uh, this is the big patch. So we need to build a wall around this entire outpost and. Yeah, by the way, these are dead, so don't worry about it. We need an entire wall around this up. Oh, we also need to kill that thing over there, I think. Uh, fine. Uh, let's just get a little bit closer into here. That, that one's a little bit too close for my tip, for my comfort. We will kind of, you know, be friends with the natives, I guess. Uh, and by friends, I mean murder them all. All right. We can we can destroy all these. All right. So, how are we going to deal with the base? So, luckily, very fortunate for us, we actually already made a fucking blueprint for building walls. Oh shit! It's almost like it's reusable for many many situations. So, this actually will handle this perfectly fine. Um, so, we just do do, the ex do this again, uh, pretty much. I'm going to just bring down the power real quick. I actually don't really have a plan right now of how to plug this all in. Uh, how many walls do I have on me? Okay, I need to get more of the walls. So, yeah, we, we very... Very fortunately, luckily, we, we actually built a system for this already. Uh, this is uh, this is intentional. It might as well use the same walls, right? Like, it's, there's actually no reason not to. It's very nice walls uh, for defending outposts as well. Uh, and this is why we kind of made only half the wall, because... Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of running out of turrets, and we're also running out of materials to make additional turrets. So, kind of, kind of an important factor right now. Alright, so... We're gonna uh, take a couple walls with me, and I'm also gonna take these back so they can repair stuff. So, you've seen me do it before, and you'll see me do it one more time. We're building walls. And this is kind of how nice this thing is. Alright. Let's uh, not go crazy with this. I just, I'm deleting a bunch of stuff there. Alright, so this is going to be now one of these guys. There you go. And it's just, it's cleaning out everything. It's putting whatever it needs to in here. And, whoops, I just shot my shotgun because I pressed space bar or something. Um, so, that's it. That's, that's all that's really to making this base. And so we, have, we just have to bring the rail line up here. Power it up. And then yeah, and I'll and I'll I'll, I'll show you. Uh, I'm gonna make the stop and everything. So, I only defend the outer side of the base. I don't really defend the inner side. And you're gonna wonder also how am I gonna bring oil here? Uh, that's also something you're gonna learn a little bit later. Uh, it's also where that light oil that I piped in there. We're gonna put. We're gonna barrel up the uh, the light oil and we're gonna bring it over. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, did I run out of? I was hoping I didn't run out of pipes. It doesn't look like I've run out of pipes, because I have a hundred here, so we're still good. 
All right, so that's still good. Oh, I mean, doing this. So as you, as you can see, this kind of just works from all directions. Assuming I plug this in correctly. I don't know how far down I'm going to make this, but we will defend this because uh, this is a very important outpost for us. A very important outpost. Uh, so this is how Mike Lad handles his Death World outposts for some reason. I don't know. I, this is I. I mean, it's the most fun as well to to do it this way. But this iron patch will definitely definitely service us for a great deal of time. Uh, I mean, there's one down here too, but I I don't, I don't really want to tap into that one. That one sucks. All right, how many miners do I have on me? Fifty and probably a couple more. Twelve in here. So we're gonna handle that as well. Uh, I also kind of fucked up. All right, so, fuck. All right, um, I actually should have put the rails coming here first, because it's actually going to be maybe a slightly larger base. Because I just remembered that. Uh, what the fuck are you guys doing? All right, I just it just occurred to me that the um, I usually place down the rails first because I make the rails go around the base first, but let's let's see let's see how this works out. Maybe maybe Christmas miracle will happen. So we need to bring our rail line here. And since this is on the left side we're gonna have Oh god, this is, this is actually this is not working out in the way I wanted it to at all. Can we just destroy these rocks? Alright. So we do something like this. Not enough rails. We already ran out of rails too. It's obviously not great. All right, let's just take all this away. All right, so we have our first problems. The first one is that we don't have enough rails, but luckily I did set the machine to actually just make a bunch. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. They destroy that the, all that shit instantly. Luckily, I did set I, I set something to make rails, so maybe maybe there'll be some more when I get back there. Did we scan anything else that's interesting? Not really. It's as far as we're aware of the existence of everything, so not great. So, by the way, those places often will get less attacked because I mean, like, what what are they going to attack? Is the question. Like, there's nothing for them to. There's no pollution there, so. Usually, you can do a little bit less. You can be lazy in terms of the um, resources that you spend on on defending the bases, but it's still not a great thing to do. How many raiders just should... Okay, I'm going to have a couple. Alright, let me just make sure I have everything I need. So we need mostly stack inserters. Um, yeah, let's just make sure we have an abundance of green chips with us as well. We already have belts. Um, need some more iron chests. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're just filling up small trains as fast as possible and things like that. That's all we're trying to do. Um, and these trains will also make... Is there really a base right here? Actually, that was here before. And I just, I don't really care. Fuck. What happens? You run your car into something and they are like, Oh, you fucking repair me. All right, so this part I'm not too pleased about. We gotta do something right here. All right, actually that works out beautifully right there, but um, yeah, so we're gonna bring the, the rail line up somewhere right here. All right, now this is where kind of the problem lies of how to get this to go around it. Um, now we do, cause it has to, it has to go, it has to go in a loop anyways. So maybe something, oh, it doesn't work already actually. Cause it, it's already like, you see how it's running into that. That's why, this is why I always place my rail lines first. Um, so mistakes were fucking made. So maybe maybe we can like squiggle it down slightly and then have it come up and around. 
Okay. Kind of can do that. Now, is it po possible for us to run it around this side of the base here? It maybe is. Okay. I think Christ is averted, guys. I think I think we just avoided a crisis here. Uh, there's a little bit of a th problem here, though. I mean, it's you know what you know what it's fine. I think I think we're just gonna put the miners right up to it. We're gonna put like maybe two more right here or something if we can. All right, let's 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 put up the remainder of this wall. Let's see how this looks actually. The idea is I would like it mining. Okay, it's not gonna mine that un underneath the rail. Is there more? No, there's no more space for it either here. So it's either do I do I remove this wall and and yeah, fuck it, we're gonna do that maybe. I don't know, man. Is it worth it for that? If only they had underground rails. This would not be an issue, but we don't. Okay, yeah, maybe we're, here's what we're gonna do. I have an idea. I don't think we're gonna have an issue on this side necessarily. So we're gonna. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that there's two, but right there, and it keeps going through. There you go. Problem solved. Actually, this doesn't even have that much in there, but yeah, but basically we can we can probably just make it so that like we eventually uh, have it come back. So you know that's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna put the template here like that, so we know that that that's where this thing ended up. There you go. Okay. Like I said, crisis sort of averted, and also now I don't have enough uh, underground pipes. So we probably should have gotten that when we were at base. All right. So now this goes around. That's fine. All right. All right. All right. Um, only other problem is how am I gonna load these trains up without feeling like I want to die? All right. This is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do something like this. So I'll actually, I'll actually do this right here. And this is why we have smaller trains because you can tell, like, when you get to the outposts, you don't really want it to take up a, a ginormous amount of space because it sucks when it does. So the hope is that this is all it needs. For space, one, two, three. Yeah, this is like barely enough right here. Now we can do something actually pretty interesting. Uh, we can actually have it go based on the same line. We can go have it go back onto the same line. So that, that might be kind of neat to do. Probably you should have actually started turning it much sooner than that. Cause you'd save maybe a little bit of space, so maybe I'll just do that real quick. But yeah, we're gonna have it just go back to the main, the same line. Um, and and this is actually not a problem, believe it or not. Um, it's perfectly fine to do that. Uh, let's just put this somewhere like over here somewhere. There you go. And we're gonna move some of these guys. So yeah, now we have this huge, huge iron patch to tap into. And uh, while I'm here, we're gonna put down because we now need to start scanning the everlasting shit out of the place of, of places around because we're actually kind of like I don't know if you guys have realized this but there is no actual more oil um, around so we're gonna try and scan this way and we're gonna see what we can see uh, we want to get a good grasp of the kind of materials we have nearby um, kind of neat by the way I fucking love this part of the game I love making train networks and, and by the way, you might be thinking to yourself, what are the advantages of trains and things like that? I haven't really gone over why we use trains. Um, I just kind of started using them and then said deal with it. Um, so why do we use trains? Um, so the trains are basically a way of making uh, kind of like a drop-off point for resources. Because the thing is, this iron patch is not going to be the last uh, iron patch we're going to go after. Uh, there's going to be a couple more. Um, and more after that, probably, you know, and more after that. So that's kind of the issue. All right. We're actually, we're actually, this is actually gonna be a double stop, uh, believe it or not. 
Um, that's kind of how we're planning this out. There's going to be two stops here uh, because this is a very large iron pa oh, coal pa uh, sorry, an iron patch that I think that we can support that. So, yeah, you're thinking to yourself, yeah, it's like, because a lot of the time what people do in this game, when they're especially when they're starting out, they're like, oh, I'm just going to make a belt. And every time I have to worry about resources, I'll just make more belts. Oh, cool. I need more rails. But we're almost done, actually, so um, it's just the perfect amount of rails, honestly. Very, very good. I know I'm not researching anything, because literally if I start researching stuff, it'll just dwindle all my resources again, so I'm trying not to. Uh, 86. Alright, we can do a bit more than that. Alright. So yeah, we, we kind of want to have... Uh, we want to have drop-off points, because we're just going to plug it in again and again and again. It's just how this game goes. Uh, you just you keep plugging things in and, and having fun with it, so... Um, it's kind of how I do things. I'm going to just have it make a couple more of these things, and then I'm going to be done with it. Is there really anything that we want to research? Simulators, no. Logistics robots are good, but... I mean, I, I don't want to spend 600 science on that. Not until we get the trains going in. Then we can just start doing some worthless upgrades. Uh, Alright, so... That's that. Uh, where did I put my car? Car's right here. So it's a way to plug in things. They're also really fun to work with. Uh, to like, It's fun to wrap your ha head around them. They're actually a lot of fun. Because I, I, like I've been telling you about how they, they work based upon blocks. I'm going to get some more iron plates. Oh yeah, I also need more pipes. I forgot about that almost. Get some more pipes. Alright. I'm just going to get more iron. So yeah, our iron is just... Starved right now. It is simply a problem that we must deal with. So we went for that big ass iron patch because I think I'm gonna be able to support two, uh, two stations there. Uh, they won't support two stations forever, but it'll uh, support two stations for a very long time. Uh, this base suddenly got much larger. The fuck. Okay. Whatever. We'll deal with it. Oh, right. I remember what I was doing now. Fuck you. Electric pull on the way. Alright, so... We're gonna finish off the wall, but we're gonna just make sure that the trains get in there somehow first. Oops. So, you can make one-way trains. You can make, like, pretty much like any kind of trains you want. This is a very flexible train game. Uh, how many... Yeah, it's two, right? Yeah. Just making sure that they're still the, the same distance that they're supposed to be. We actually ran out of fucking rails again. Almost there, guys. Almost there. <laughs> I'm just gonna handcraft these. Okay, we're good. Alright. So, this is the next part. This is part two. Alright, so, yeah, this bot is now out of fucking... Oh, shit. Shit. No, you fuckers! Okay, you know what? You deserved it. Uh, we're gonna go over this way. Alright. Um, so, this is the next part, and that is to make, um... Some stations here. So, here you can see it's already like a, it's a yellow block. Uh, so we're gonna have it now. Uh, we're gonna, first off, we're gonna have it so it, it kinda goes, says, oh hey. You know, these are the, this is the two ways here, and one way here. So, now only one train can occupy the blue block, so it tries to get rid of the trains as soon as possible, kind of in that, in that regard. And the way that the trains will wait around this place is that there's a giant loop, luckily. And this is why I was kind of pissy about the fact that the way I did things, because I'm like, oh, uh... I actually did. I, I basically thought to myself I didn't do it right, and I really didn't. But we don't. We don't need. Um, we don't need block signals here. Um, and the reason for that is, um, we're we're not trying to. Sorry, train signals. We use block signals here because we're just trying to get them to come into these two stations. Uh, and so that's pretty much it for that. So what I can do right now is I can say, copy and paste this guy. Um, 
So we're just gonna call it iron one. They're technically both iron one, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna get into a little neat concept with that as well, of how that works, but yeah. Uh, let's just first of all, get the iron, well actually no, no, no. We need to finish off this wall. So as soon as those two mine out, then I'm gonna destroy them and kind of put up the flamethrower turret again. I'm completely unsatisfied with how that went. What the fuck? Thanks. I have no idea how this was originally supposed to look. But I fucked it up, so... Alright. Just like that. Uh, yeah, we need to actually corner this one. Now... I don't know if we technically need to do this. Yeah, we can do this. All right. We do that. Right. And then actually the the walls down here will will just be just a solid wall cuz to be honest, I doubt they're going to ever come from this angle. I I doubt they're going to even come from that angle to begin with. Uh but we're we're over prepared just to let you know. Like we've become more than prepared. Like no matter what, no matter what happens. Okay, now the the other problem is that this this is not going to be able to be cornered really, but that's okay. So, yeah, this is enough. Yeah, you know what? This is enough. This is good enough of a corner. So we actually don't need these to be anything like that. And this problem is that one's actually just facing towards the fucking, like, where the trains are going to come in from. So that's that's doubly bad. So we don't actually want that to happen at all. So we make a this, and then we just wall the rest of this up. Ta-da! It worked perfectly, guys. Uh, I don't know if I want to do anything with this, though. Alright, that's it. Uh, this is our outpost. It's, uh, it is our, po our outpost. It is mine. Now... Now we make the train loading mechanisms. Now this is going to be kind of an interesting thing because we're going to do uh, two things. We're going to load balance um, the train inputs. So it's going to require a fair bit of splitters. Um, fuck. I, I, I'm just going to get a balancer from the internet one sec. All right. So I copied a, a blueprint string. Uh... Is this really how this works? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is um this is a blueprint book of all the balancers in the game. Um, so you can just kind of go through this. Now you're gonna wonder what the fuck this is for, but yeah, okay, and all and they're using blue belts unfortunately because it's the way these guys work. But whatever. Um, the balancers uh, essentially are. Uh, to basically make sure that we have an even uh, output for everything. Uh, so like, because we have a lot of resources coming in. Um, and I, I didn't want to, I, I, this is actually my first time using one of these, by the way. I just wanted to tell you that. Because uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this, but this is the one base that actually makes sense to use this from. So what we do is we bring, we just, we, we dump all the possible resources into this and then we just have it kind of go to the trains and that's it. It's actually very simple how this works. So just to give you an example, cause I, I, I know I, I love visualizations too. Uh, this is kind of how the train is going to look when it comes in here. It's going to come in like that, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to load it in with stack inserters. And it's going to be four. Uh, something like that. Actually, it can just be like that. So, it's actually pretty good for that. All right, so it loads it as fast as possible, kind of a deal. I know, I, I mean, you can have more, mind you, you can have more. But we just don't really do any more than that. And now we're out of iron plates. Fuck. You know what we can do? This is some. This is, by the way, some next level laziness. By the way, because I need iron plates. <laughs> um, fuck. Yeah, you know we're gonna make it right here. All 
I, I just need some quick iron plates, and I don't want to go all the way back to base for it, so... Fuck. Why do I suck? There you go. There we go. Okay, we'll just have it do that while we work out the rest of this logistically. Alright, so this is gonna have, like... Fuck. It actually placed it. Whatever. Um, so, two of these are gonna come this way. So, it works kinda like this. Uh, that's how it works, and these other two will go to the other side. Is what's gonna happen. And we're gonna copy and paste that. And oh my god, that means we need a shit ton more of these. But we're not gonna concern ourselves too much with that right now. Actually, we're gonna say this is iron... Like, we're just going to rename that to something retarded. Because um, that's how it's going to go. Actually, this does need to be a chain signal. Whoopsies. Uh, well, luckily we're getting iron plates now. Thank goodness I foresaw this issue. Sorry, I forgot this actually does need to be a chain signal. Because they if one goes into here, it will stop. We want it to stop here, so it goes to the next free station kind of thing. That's how we work. Okay. That's it for that. Now we go play as a crap ton of miners, which you see me do a couple times, but... Alright, so this is kind of good enough for now. Um, I, I kind of run out of miners, but whatever, fuck it. I don't care. Let's just let's just wrap up some of this crap that I've been doing and that's it. Alright, we don't need any more of this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the belt come over here. And we'll just join over here real fast. Yeah, by the way, the, the wall's been getting hammered by uh, one of the sides of the bases, so I'm going to have to deal with that um, all in due time. So as you can see, they're all going. Uh, we're going to have to copy and paste this real quick, though. And it's going to just do the same thing over here. We're almost out of belts as well. Actually, we're completely out of belts. So the key is to get these filling up with uh, everything that they need. All right. I don't feel so bad about that. And we need, actually shit. Need more iron chests. I really need more iron plates. I fucking do need more iron plates. Where did I just put that furnace that I had? Alright. So that's how that works. Just gonna remove this train because uh, it needs to be at the stop. Alright, so as you can see, it's, uh, it is balancing uh, all of the things accordingly. Balancing everything it needs to. I mean, I just, I kind of want to go to all three of these. Alright, there you go. So now, these are going to start putting iron and whatever the fuck I need inside these machines. Uh, I still have some of these small electric poles, so I guess we'll just utilize those. Maybe we won't. Okay, now we will. I lied, haha. <laughs> So we're just going to power all these suckers up. By the way, you can just kind of run through everything and just like uh, hold down a button. Uh, apparently though, those are kind of on a weird side, weird angle there. Alright, there you go. So all the miners are now going. I actually ran out of miners. That's why uh, you see kind of like an odd number here. Uh, maybe we'll go like right to here. All right, so that's that's that. Uh, we need to get more in here though, definitely, because there's just there's so much that we need to do with us. So, um, so that's that's in due time. So that's it for that. We can actually start bringing the the iron over. I would say uh, this also is a bit of a problem because how do we get the fuck out of here now? Okay, I guess like that. Well, that was easy. 
All right, so we didn't make any, we didn't make enough uh, things here for this, but that's fine. We're probably gonna go send her uh, out the first train, actually. Uh, so you can actually see the instructions and how I do that as well. All right, that's it. Um, this is hazardous, by the way, now, because the trains are coming through these. I gotta make some better systems for this, but yeah. Uh, first of all, let, let me go repair everything that is needed. Because they must have made a new base somewhere. Okay, well, or, or it's just the, the same amount of attacks they've always done. How many turrets do I have left? I have literally two turrets left. I mean, th then again, like I, I, I probably didn't need this many over here. But it's still impressive that... I that I made just like the perfect amount. I'm impressed. I don't know about you guys. I am super duper impressed. All right, that guy ran out. Yeah, this is the side that's been getting hammered, by the way. Here as well. I mean, it's probably just some regular tax, and I mean, it doesn't get repaired ever, so, you know, it's kind of an issue. Alright, I think this now ran out. Okay, this guy's a fucker, honestly. But we need... Okay, yeah, you're done. Oh, shit. Not a moment too soon. Fuck. Oh uh, shit! All right, so what we can do right now, actually, is we're gonna come back here anyways. So let's just um, let's just take some of these um, miners out that aren't doing anything. Did this ever finish with some of the coal that it's been dealing with? No, kind of not. Luckily, luckily, you see, we started in a place with like a, an abundance of coal, right? So now we didn't have to deal with coal at all this run, really. We didn't have to worry about it. What we did have to worry about though is iron, because like, and and I started next to an iron patch. I actually like went out of my way and found one that actually had a single iron patch there, and like you can still see how much of an how, how many problems this actually gave me. So that's this is nice. All right, so um, let's get. Uh, oh, well, first off, let me let me finish repairing the stuff up there, and then we're gonna work on the train schedule. Uh, the train schedule will be very, very easy to, to, to put in. That's literally not an issue. This is why, by the way, I had two trains coming from that, going to that place, because I, I, I just know we're not going to need it. Oh, I should also mention, this is the first time I've done such tiny trains. I, I usually do much larger trains. Um, but I've decided to... I've decided that smaller is maybe better, because you can tell, like, even by this one right here, the base is very large, but... Like, it's basically kind of like a problem. And you're going to say, why not use three uh, three carriages, Mike? Why, why do you have that third one there? Well, you'll learn all in due time, my friends. The reason for everything. Okay, good. That is the last uh, laser turret we have. So we need to tap into the iron now, so. All right. Uh, let me go and do some things here. Uh, where's the car? All right, guys, so we are now going to set a... We're going to set a little thing for this. Where is it? Uh, Alright. So, there's our iron train. I probably should have put some lights here, too. One right here. Probably like one right here. There you go. Those are kind of nice. One in, Put one on each area. That's how we'll do it. Alright, so we also need to have a... Uh, Something filling up a chest full of um, some of these things as well, because we kind of we kind of need solid fuel like at most stages in the game. So, all right, so this is the train that will go, and we're gonna set it to go to Iron One uh, until probably inactivity. I know you can say inventory full, but we, we actually don't want that. So I guess we're gonna say we're, we're gonna wait until five seconds of it not doing anything, and then we're gonna go. Or actually, we're gonna say or time passed. Uh, maybe like a hundred. I usually do 120 seconds fast. So this this makes it so that like if there's some sort of weird feeding issue uh, that it's not getting resources properly, then it won't. It, it will go eventually, anyways. If there's some sort of problem, 
and I always do this kind of stuff. I always say if 120 seconds has passed or uh, five seconds of inactivity. Sounds pretty good. All right. We now have sent it out. It is now free. Free to do as it desires. So where's the second train I had? All right. So what you saw me do actually is I control right clicked and it just copied over the orders that I had for it. Uh, hopefully that they're good orders. Um, if they're not, then whatever. It's also why we have this solid fuel plant because we're, it, it helps, speeds in the process of filling up the trains, you know. All right, so where are the two cargo wagons for this sucker? Oh, there they are. All right, and I mean, I, I don't see a reason to let this guy not go anymore, so uh, be on your way. So the train now went over here. It is now filling up full of uh, iron. Um, unfortunately, it looks like that I have maybe not anticipated the fact that it doesn't actually need that. Actually, I'm going to call this one iron one now. Um, okay. And when you call things the same station, they'll actually stop twice. They don't care. Uh, they'll, they'll stop again where, where it needs to. Uh, sorry, like it, it'll it'll regard it as the same stuff. What the fuck? Oh, that's why. All right. Uh, suddenly things have suddenly more clear. Now I know why I did that. <laughs> I didn't have enough uh, uh, inserters there. That's okay. Yeah, let's bring some more shit with us. All right. So now we're going to do some funky stuff. So. We're running out of mostly everything, um, which we acknowledge. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna, first off, these don't need to be red anymore. Fuck, it's always iron plates, isn't it? All right. Okay, so is it coming here and unloading things? Oh, it's not inactive because it's, uh, yeah, it's doing things. Because it's, it, uh, this doesn't count as inactivity, so we're going to have to force it to go to iron one. So that this guy can, can stop. There you go. He's going to come over here, he's going to offload his, his garbage. And then what we're also going to do is, we're going to start combining some of this stuff. Uh, how many belts do I have? Not enough. We don't have enough, so we're gonna have to go get more belts first. It's it's a very like the it's just so satisfying the belt the 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 train system in this game. It's so nice. So he's right now uh, offloading his cargo, I guess. Um, did this actually work out? Yeah, that's that's kind of the way I wanted it to work out. Um, it's it's kind of odd how this all work plant worked out, but I think I think it'll in the end be fine. All right, so what we're gonna do is now this iron ore is going to plug into this one and we're no longer actually going to be splitting it off like that. So we can just kind of remove all this. So now that this one, that, that, that one line of furnaces right now is now getting the remainder of everything. So instead of running off of three, running off of the base is now running off of one. Uh, and this is just a temporary measure. As we're trying to now bring it up here. All right, so uh, this is kind of the way we have to do things. Now we could have red belts to make this probably slightly less painful, but yeah, we don't have red belts, so um, yeah. So this is gonna be number one. This guy is now unloading his cargo as well, and I guess he was done with that. Oh, because I guess he couldn't do anything, because I haven't, uh... Yeah, so this is kind of like, um... He couldn't, he couldn't unload his cargo because he had, no, he had nowhere to put it. Anyway, so we're bringing everything on yellow belts, because uh, we're poor and we can't afford red belts. Hey everybody, this, this factory discriminates against the poor. 
All right. This is some reason why, okay, now it's coming. All right, and then we bring this up here. And ta-da, we got fresh new lines of iron coming straight from the four point something million patch. Uh, this will now bring our factory back up. Um, so we'll give it like a minute. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of just doing its thing. Yeah, we, we just kind of like to fill them all up with fuel, honestly. All right. So now, now it's not a problem for you. So it's unloading as fast as possible into these four guys. I see there's a little bit of a gap here, but I don't think there's much we can do about that. Um, well, we could make this belt faster. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll make, make a bunch of these, actually. By the way, usually I red belt this stuff. Oh, there we go. Now it's completely fine. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a thing of beauty. That's what we like to see. There you go. So now, now it's a fully kind of saturated uh, a line of blue ore. And as you can see, while the train isn't here, it's still uh, offloading and uh, onloading stuff. But for some reason, this guy decided not to. Oh, that's because it went to the fucking retarded stuff. So we got. We need to go now. Fix that stop because uh, it's not as good as we want it to be right now. Okay, I'm playing with fire right now, so let me put that away. And that is the intricate world of trains. So this is going to get our factory kind of back up to speed. Oh shit. Okay, by the way, trains don't stop for you. Trains don't give a flying fuck if you're in the way. They're going to they're going to run your ass over. There we go. Now we have a place for me to go in. There we go. Okay. So that's kind of what we were waiting for. Um, I guess we could just finish the rest of this off. And that's why we have like the balancer, because it, it now is dividing it equally wherever resources are needed. So it's kind of nice. I also, okay, I only have four of these things left. Look at that. Look at this fucking guy. It's, these are the death trains, by the way. And so, like, usually a good number for trains, if you're doing, like, a standard run, you do four. Four carriages per one train, because then they have the maximum top speed. Um, this train, they, they also have a kill counter as well. They have, they have maximum top speed, maximum acceleration and stuff. And that's why we did small trains, is to get them in and out of the outpost as soon as possible. So, you know, that's kind of how the, the way I'm doing this. So, we need actually more ore coming through this line. Um, and the only way to do that is we actually have to go get more, ironically, get more uh, electric drills. Um, that's the only way to, to handle that. But yeah, the system works. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, I guess we're going to just repair everything now. So are you guys happy? I'm fucking happy. And now we get to start on some better things, bigger and better things, because this has been the major problem. And I mean, I, I know it's taken a while, but I, I probably won't be setting up many more outposts for you again, uh, since you've seen me do it once, that's fine. And uh, and it gets faster, because, I mean, the thing is, this is now 4.1 million, and then we're not going to have to worry about it for quite a while. Um, like, it's just, it's not, it's going to be a non-issue now. Um... We, we don't really have to care about it any longer. All right, so there's been some attacks here. Let's go see if we can get some more, uh, yeah, okay, there's some more turrets here. So what, why aren't these going right now? Batteries, okay. Very important thing for us to work on now uh, is, uh, where is it? This guy. Advanced oil processing. Uh, this is the next issue. The reason I wasn't doing it before was because we didn't have enough uh, resources to, to go through this. But it looks like we do now. You can actually see it's it's actually coming down here in, in great abundance too. Uh, so we can kind of work on that. Uh, just wondering how much time I have. Probably not a whole lot of time. Uh, we might work on, uh, well, we want to work on finishing the wall as well, but 
I, I think I think this amount of blue science is good for now. Wow, look at that. Just kind of working its way. Yeah, we may need to get this guy more steel and shit. Oh man, look at that. The steel is now backed up. This is something we haven't seen in quite a long time. This actually didn't take long for a factory to come back online. I'm actually very surprised. Alright, well, I'm going to do one more thing, and that's I'm going to bring steel over here. Because I actually, we need to have this stuff being made on a regular basis. I actually don't like my system here. This is temporary. So, I think I'll just keep it temporary for now. I, I have to debate how to change this up. There you go. Amazing. So, we can actually have more trains coming through this system as well. Uh, but for now, I mean, this last, uh, this last one here is actually just kind of working its magic. So, we actually really don't have to change anything if we don't want to. Uh, oh yeah, I said I was going to increase the amount of miners going on there. Uh, well, actually, let's see what's going on right now. So these ones are completely full, but I mean, there's more that can be had in there. So let's go get some more miners and we'll go back up there. I don't think there was anything else we need to leave off. So um, yeah, the problem we have right now with oil processing is that um, See, this, these heavy oils are full, and we're not getting any petroleum. And as you can see, like just everything has stopped. It's because we don't have any advanced oil processing right now. Um, so maybe maybe we'll do, do that real quick, because that looks like it's going to finish real now. Nah, we'll do it at the beginning of the next episode, never mind. Man, I, I love advanced oil processing, guys. It's, uh, it's actually such a godsend. It's so nice. Um, but yeah, we should we should have enough materials to finish it off. Uh, is there... I want some miners. We can steal it off a line. Deal with that nerd. Sucka. Alright. Alright. I think, I think I'm gonna leave it up here, guys, so... I hope you're enjoying... What the fuck? Did they kill something here? I don't think so. Oh, they're killing something somewhere. Oh, the turrets are taking damage. So yeah, uh, priorities are advanced oil processing, then finish wall, and then um, then we can go into better things, actually. So, uh, possibly need to upgrade my steam engines, though. Oh my god. Okay, maybe we'll do that. But that's, uh, that's next time, so goodbye. I'll, I'll probably, yeah, bye.